بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹ ٹوڈے وی ول اسٹارٹ اور وی ول ڈسکس انادر ٹاپک آف فارن ایکسچینج رسک اینڈ سو فار وی ہیو ڈن وی ہیو ڈسکسنگ سرٹن انسٹرومنٹ وچ کین بی یوز ٹو منیمائز اور ایٹ لیسٹ ڈکریز دا رسک آف فارن کرنسی ایکسچینج ریٹ اینڈ ایز وی یو آر ڈیلنگ ان انٹرنیشنل مارکیٹ وی ہیو ڈسکس ڈفرینٹ ٹیکنیکس now uh, today we'll discuss another technique that is called as money market hedge uh, as all, you all already know that hedging is a procedure of minimization or is it's actually means decreasing some uh, risk so how we can use money market for decreasing the risk of foreign currency so when we talk about money uh, market uh, hedge uh, actually it is a technique used to lock in the value of foreign currency transaction in a company domestic currency uh, therefore a money market hedge can help a domestic company to reduce its exchange rate or currency rate when conducting business business transaction with a foreign currency it is called as a money market hedge because the process involve depositing funds um, into a money market which is the financial uh, market which is highly liquid and there are short term instrument in this market uh, like treasury bills commercial papers banking uh, bankers acceptance so um, this can help the company to earn certain amount of interest on these financial instruments and based upon that they'll be conducting future transaction as it allows the domestic company to lock in the value of its partner currency in advance of an anticipated uh, transaction that means that if you are planning uh, to do a transaction uh, in a cer- certain time period like if you are planning that you will be uh, uh, purchasing um, certain supplies from china or from america uh, within 6 months period so um, they, uh, before that you will be investing the uh, investing the set the um, that amount in, the, in that currency in a money market and actually this create a certainty about the cost of future transaction and ensures the domestic company will pay the price at it wants to pay because when you are purchasing uh, the foreign currency you will be purchasing that foreign currency at spot rate so that will help you to lock in the value of that transaction uh, that currency at that point in time and in the future you will be in a position to um, pay the uh, pay the supplier of that amount Uh, without uh, incurring loss on the foreign currency exchange rate fluctuations now when we talk about a money market so money market is actually a market uh, where um, securities or financial instrument of um, short term duration are being just say, sold and purchased like uh, there are many instrument like treasury bills call loans uh, commercial papers bank acceptance um, repo that is repurchase agreement so there are a lot of short term financial instruments available in uh, finance money market specifically debt instrument because money market is uh, a market for short term debt instruments uh, so uh, it's a market for short term securities and uh, many companies are able to borrow or deposit funds to their bank in the money market because uh, the um, b- banks can facilitate them in purchasing and selling their uh, money market instrument so uh, this can be used for um, uh, or the company can use this money market to lend or borrow instead of going to forward contract because as a forward contract is also used for uh, eliminating um, foreign currency exchange risk or exposure uh, for companies so instead of using forward contract exchange contract they can, we can also use money market for um, uh, decreasing the risk exposure of the company but as compared to forward contract the money market uh, hedge is uh, a little complicated than uh, the forward contract so um, uh, most of the companies is try to avoid money market hedge when there are lots of transaction which has to be um, hedged or which has to be taken into consideration because as the mechanism of money market hedge is a little technical as compared to a forward contract now uh, first uh, 
a thing or a first for the purpose which the uh, money market has, can be used is uh, like uh, uh, when you are planning to uh, buy something or when you have to make a payment in the future so how you can uh, use this hedging procedure for making a future payment so first of all the first step would be that we have to buy the present value of the current foreign currency amount today at spot rate like today we'll be uh, we will see that uh, how much amount we have to pay, pay in the future and we have to buy the present value of that foreign currency today uh, at spot rate so this is this is affect an immediate payment in sterling and may involve borrowing the fund earlier than the settlement date like if we are dealing in dollars so we'll and we have to pay it in sterling so what we'll do is we will um, buy the sterling and uh, before the settlement date the foreign currency per Purchase is placed on deposit and accrues an uh, interest uh, until the transaction date. So what we'll do is we'll buy um, we'll buy these foreign currency and invest in the money market, and uh, it will also help us to uh, earn certain amount of interest on that uh, investment or in that transaction or of um, as we have invested in the money market. Then this this deposit is used to make the foreign currency uh, uh, foreign currency payment. So there are actually three step. Uh, to calculate how much of the home currency is needed for the payment like divide the foreign currency payment amount by 1 plus the foreign currency deposit rate for the period in question then take the for, uh, figure calculated and translate it to home currency at spot rate then after that take the foreign cal uh, uh, figure calculated and multiply it by 1 plus the home currency borrowing rate for the time period in question because as you are investing in your home currency so that's why obviously you have to uh, calculate uh, the uh, the home currency borrowing rate for the time period in question like in the, in the if you are making payment in 6 month or 3 month or 4 month uh, so we have to see that uh, how form um, if we are having to, having to make payment in 6 months so how that will the uh, will be um, helpful in earning certain amount of interest and how much interest you will be earning uh, so it will be help in the making payment in in the uh, future now um, this uh, this whole mechanism can be easily uh, understood with the help of this example uh, like there is a Liverpool PSC company and they have to make dollar uh, 45,000 uh, 450,000 in three months time the company treasurer has determined the following the stop uh, spot rate is 1.7 uh, 1.7 uh, to 1.7040 is equal to one pound and in three month forward contract forward it would be dollar 1.6764 to 1.6809 is equal to one pound if we look into the money market uh, so there would be a two rates one for borrowing and the other for deposits uh, so us dollar we have a borrowing rate of 6.5 percent and deposit rate for 5 percent and for sterling it is 7.5 percent for borrowing and 6 percent for a deposit and these are actually annual rates uh, decide whether a forward contract hedge or money market hedge should be taken so um, we can uh, discuss this question or you can see the solution of this question in the next no the answer is that if we'll go for money market hedge uh, so first of all we have uh, to create an equal and opposite asset to match the dollar liability because uh, we have we have to make the payment in dollars uh, so first of all we have to see that uh, how much amount we need uh, to deposit now so uh, with the uh, with the generation of interest or because we will putting that amount in a money market so in a money market uh, we will be buying that instrument and that instrument will give us certain amount of interest so by adding that interest we will have to generate 450,000 to make the payment in the uh, future which is actually after three months time so in that case um, we have to uh, see that if the annual rate for three months deposit is five percent uh, then the interest for three months is uh, five multiply five uh, multiplied by three divided by twelve as we have to calculate the interest amount for um, three months only because we are making investment for three months so the company will want to buy put the uh, four lakh fifty thousand divided by one point one zero two one two uh, double uh, one two five 
is equal to four lakh forty four thousand four hundred and forty four on deposit now, so that it will mature to match the payment in three months time. Like अ देखिए इसमें ये हमने ये देखना है कि अगर तो हम कुछ amount invest करते हैं money market में तो वो amount इतना होना चाहिए कि वो interest के साथ add करने के बाद वो चार लाख पचास हजार बन जाए कि हम तीन महीने बाद उसको इसकी payment कर दें तो so, अगर हम देख रहे हैं कि हमारे जो डॉलर डिपॉजिट पे हमें 5 परसेंट इंटरेस्ट रेट मिल रहा है थ्री मंथ तो हम पहले फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हम उसको कैलकुलेट करेंगे थ्री मंथ्स के लिए क्योंकि हम जो हम जो इन्वेस्टमेंट कर रहे हैं वो तीन महीने के लिए करें और वो तीन महीने ही के ऊपर ही हमें जो अर्निंग करके देगा तो वो वन है फिर हम क्या करते हैं फोर लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड को डिवाइड कर देते हैं वन पॉइंट टू फाइव परसेंट पे और उस पर वन पॉइंट जीरो वन टू फाइव पे तो उससे हमारे हमें ये पता चल जाता है कि अगर आज हम चार लाख चार फोर लैख फोर्टी फोर थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड फोर्टी फोर डिपॉजिट करें तो हम इस पोजीशन में होंगे कि थ्री मंथ्स बाद हमारे पास फोर हो जाए कि हम इसकी जो है वो पेमेंट कर लें then the company needs to purchase the required amount of dollars now at a spot rate as the cost of uh, 4,44,444 divided by 1.70 that is 2,61,438 pounds sterling अब या तो हमें पता चल गया पहले तो कि हमने जो है उसको आ, कितना इन्वेस्टमेंट करना है फिर उसके बाद हमने इसकी कन्वर्जन करनी है पाउंड स्टर्लिंग में क्योंकि हमने और तो उसके लिए हमने देखना है कि स्पॉट रेट क्या है तो हम जो स्पॉट रेट लेंगे वो 1.70 लें तो हाँ इसको डिवाइड करने के बाद हमें यह पता चल गया कि दो लाख टू लैख सिक्सटी वन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड थर्टी एट थाउजेंड जो है पाउंड स्टर्लिंग की हमें जरूरत है तो हम फिर क्या करेंगे इन ऑर्डर टू कंपेयर द मनी मार्केट हैज विद फॉरवर्ड फॉरवर्ड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट व्यू एज्यूम दैट द कंपनी विल बोरो दिस मनी टूडे एंड रीपे इट इन थ्री मंथस टाइम विद इंटरेस्ट तो अब यहाँ पर आ, आ, हम फिर इस अगर हमने इसको फॉरवर्ड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट से कंपेयर करना है तो हम ये देखेंगे कि हमें इसको आ, इस अमाउंट को जो हमें आ, इसको पे, पेमेंट करने के लिए चाहिए तो हम उसको मनी मार्केट से बोरो करेंगे कि हम उसको रीपे कर सके थ्री मंथ में सो इफ द एंट्रेस इफ द एनुअल इंटरेस्ट रेट ऑफ थ्री मंथ पाउंड स्टर्लिंग बोरोइंग इज सेवन दैट देन द इंटरेस्ट रेट फॉर द मंथ फॉर थ्री मंथ इज सेवन पॉइंट फाइव मल्टीप्लाई बाई थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेल्व दैट विल गिव अस इंटरेस्ट फॉर थ्री मंथ इंटरेस्ट ऑफ बोरिंग फॉर थ्री मंथ दैट इज वन पॉइंट एट सेवन फाइव सो द कंपनी विल हैव टू री पे टू लैख सिक्सटी वन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड थर्टी एट मल्टीप्लाई बाई वन पॉइंट जीरो वन एट सेवन फाइव इज इक्वल टू टू लैख सिक्सटी सिक्स थाउजेंड थ्री फोर्टी पाउंड स्टर्लिंग इन थ्री मंथ टाइम सो so, uh, मतलब अगर हम उसको बोरव करेंगे तो हमें जो है वो दो लाख टू लैख सिक्सटी सिक्स थाउजेंड थ्री फोर्टी पाउंड स्टर्लिंग पड़ेंगे सो ओवरऑल ओलिवर प्रू नो दैट इट विल कॉस्ट टू लैख सिक्सटी सिक्स थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी टू पाउंड टू सेटल द डॉलर लाइबिलिटी इन इन थ्री मंथ टाइम नाउ दिस कैन बी एक्सप्लेन विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस एग्जाम्पल और वी दिस डायग्रामेटिकल प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन सो फॉर फॉर एग्जाम्पल मनी मनी मार्केट हैज तो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी वे कैन सी दैट थ्री मंथ रेट्स ऑफ यूज यूज डिपॉजिट रेट इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट जीरो वन टू फाइव सो वेन वी वी कैन डिपॉजिट फोर लैख फोर्टी फोर थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड फोर्टी फोर विद दिस डिपॉजिट सो विल बी इन अ पोजिशन टू जनरेट फोर लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड फोर लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड इन द इन फ्यूचर then uh, the the we have to see that at spot rate of 1.70 we will have to buy 261438 uh, pound and um, with uh, with the uh, with us borrowing rate of 1.0185 we have to uh, we have we need 266340 pound sterling to settle the liability of 450000 As contrast to that, if we'll go for forward contract, so that would be four lakh fifty thousand one point six nine zero two is equal to two lakh sixty six thousand two hundred forty two hundred forty one pound. When we compare both the, the both this method, so it seems that when you'll go for forward contract, it will um, it would be a little cheaper. Uh, then uh, going for a money market hedge but overall when we uh, look into the details uh, so this difference is due to rounding of the figure uh, as there would be no difference uh, as we are using money market hedge or your forward contract as it is a little uh, looks a little cheaper but uh, in uh, in reality in reality this uh, difference is due to the rounding figures we will be using because at this uh, if we see that uh, when we are using the us deposit rate so we will be having uh, um, um, uh, 
interest rate in uh, in points and then other time when we borrowing you borrowing sorry we have interest rate so we will be we are using a rounding figures so the, this different would be uh, a lit, um, due to rounding figure uh, in whereas when reality way when we put interest rate par, uh, par parity theory so there will be no difference between using money market hedge or a forward contract now we will discuss another question uh, associated with uh, this topic uh, this is there is a bolton a company a uk company which has to make payment of us dollar 230000 in 3 months time the company treasurer has determined following that dollar sterling spot rate is equal to dollar 1.8 uh, 250 to 1 dollar 1.8361 is equal to 1 pound and in 3 uh, months forward spot uh, forward rate is 1.84 uh, uh, 1.8250 to 1.8 1.8452 um, uh, is equal to 1 pound and money market rates for borrowing and deposit is in US dollar they are 5.1% and in deposit they are 4.2% and for sterling 5.75% for borrowing and 4.5% for deposit so it should be and uh, should be um, a certain that these rates are for annual and are annual basis a certain the cost of the payment using a forward contract hedge and a money market hedge now if we look into this question uh, so as the company has to pay make 2 lakh 30000 uh, 2 lakh 30000 payment in 3 months time and uh, the deposit rate first of all we have to find out uh, 3 months deposit rate that is 1.0105% uh, so uh, um, according to this we have to make 2 lakh 27601 10 uh, amount in um, in 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 money market we then we will be able to pay 230000 in 3 months we will be using the spot rate of 1.8250 and based upon that we will need 1 lakh 22 uh, 1 lakh and uh, in order to um, buy this uh, or borrow this um, amount uh, and we will have to ascertain the US borrowing rate that is actually 1.014375 so we will be needing 1,26,511 pounds sterling in order to make a payment in the case of a forward contract we will be you we will have you we will have to uh, have um, one lakh twenty five thousand four twenty three in order to um, make this payment we will uh, use the um, we will use the uh, uh, the spot rate of 1.8338 uh, in order to determine the pound sterling uh, which we have to um, make uh, payment which we, we which we did, which we are required in order to make payment in forward contract hedge so in forward contract hedge we will be uh, we need 125425 pounds but in the case of money market hedge, we will be uh, we have to have 1,26,511 pound in it in order to make payment so uh, if we compare both of them it is actually a little bit cheaper uh, in uh, if you use forward market hedge rather than using money market hedge now hedging a receipt as we have discussed that uh, when we want to um, uh, uh, when we want to hedge a payment it what would the what would be the procedure and we have also uh, discussed a question regarding uh, that procedure uh, same is the case when you are uh, dealing in foreign currency market and uh, when you are actually dealing in international um, market and you have uh, suppliers and customers uh, in international market so in that case uh, there are situation in which you have to receive a certain amount of money in future in a foreign currency so in that case obviously uh, that amount which will you be which you will be going to receive in future um, had certain um, risk of uh, um, depreciation depreciation because whenever there is appreciation there is no need for uh, expected appreciation 
would need uh, would uh, do not need uh, any um, you can say um, uh, hedging but still uh, the, there when there is a uh, kind of because appreciation and depreciation would be uh, would be on both side of both currency like if your currency and uh, foreign currency so there are situation in which you receive would have would, would decrease due to um, uh, appreciation and uh, appreciation and depreciation so in that case it's uh, it's uh, better to minimize that con con kind of risk and you can do it with the help of a money market uh, like uh, um, when um, you uh, when you are hedging a receipt uh, so uh, what you will do is borrow the present value of foreign currency amount today like you will get uh, first of all you will see that what would be uh, the present value of that amount which you will be going to receive in future uh, in future and uh, you will be say, seeing the borrowing rate and uh, then after that you will set it uh, sell it at spot then this result in an immediate receipt in sterling and uh, and after that this can be invested until the date was due so the foreign loan accrues interest until the transaction date like you will be uh, you will getting um, uh, the, the foreign loan and this foreign loan would will give you interest until the transaction date the loan is then repaid with the foreign currency receipt so in this in this all uh, mechanism you will be able to uh, minimize risk associated with uh, appreciation or depreciation of any um, kind which might uh, affect your receipt because um, in, there are situations in which uh, both currency could fluctuate now uh, when we talk about hedging a receipt so it can be uh, very well explained with the help of uh, this uh, three step uh, process uh, and this step uh, when you are calculating a foreign currency amount first of all divide the foreign currency receipt amount by 1 plus the foreign currency borrowing rate from the from the time period in question like you are about to receive a certain amount of money in in three months or six months so what you will do is you will divide the foreign currency receipt amount by uh, by the um, the borrowing rate of that foreign currency and obviously you have to see that uh, for how much period you will be borrowing that amount that would, uh, would be exactly the amount period in which we, you will be receiving the receipt matlab iska matlab ye hai ki aap kya karenge ki jo aapne foreign currency mein jo paisa aapke paas aana hai उसके ऊपर आप देखें कि आपको अगर उस फॉरेन करेंसी में अगर आप बोरो करें तो उसके ऊपर आपको कितना इंटरेस्ट जो है ना वो पे करना पड़ेगा तो उसको आप कैलकुलेट कर लें टेक द फैक्टर कैलकुलेटेड एंड ट्रांसलेट इट टू होम करेंसी एट द स्पॉट रेट फिर जब आपने वो ले लिया तो आप उस करेंसी जो आपने पास अमाउंट आया जो भी अमाउंट आया उसको आप अपनी होम करेंसी में कन्वर्ट कर लें ठीक है और वो ही होम करेंसी में आप स्पॉट रेट पे कन्वर्ट कर लें टेक द फिगर कैलकुलेटेड एंड मल्टीप्लाई बाय इट बाय वन प्लस द होम करेंसी डिपॉजिट रेट फॉर द टाइम पीरियड इन क्वेश्चन फिर आप ऐसा करें कि उसी को जो फिगर आपके पास आया है जो आपने अपनी फॉरन करेंसी रिसीट जो है उसको कन्वर्ट किया था उसको आप दोबारा क्या करें देखें कि अगर आप इसको अपनी होम करेंसी में कहीं पे इन्वेस्ट करते हैं तो उसमें आपको जो है ना वो आ, क्या क्या आएगा तो आपने क्या करना है कि जो फिगर आपके पास आया है उसको डिवाइड कर दे वन प्लस होम करेंसी डिपॉजिट रेट फॉर द टाइम पीरियड इन क्वेश्चन इसमें यह है कि पहले आप जो है ना वो देखेंगे कि बोरोइंग पे क्या रेट है जब आप बोरो बोरोइंग रेट कैलकुलेट कर लेंगे तो फिर आप उसको आ, होम करेंसी में कन्वर्ट कर लेंगे जब होम करेंसी में कन्वर्ट कर लेंगे तो फिर उसको आप देखेंगे कि अगर ये जो उंट आपने होम करेंसी को आ, का आया है इसको अगर आप आ, अपनी होम करेंसी होम में, आ, में कहीं भी आ, मतलब जो अपने आपकी कंट्री है उसमें कहीं पे इन्वेस्ट करते हैं डिपॉजिट करते हैं तो उस पर आपको कितना रेट मिलेगा और उससे फिर उस फ्यूचर में आपको एक्चुअली इन रिटर्न कितनी अमाउंट जो है वो मिलेगी उसको आप कैलकुलेट कर लें now uh, if you look in the, into this question so the uh, concept would be more um, uh, explained by uh, this uh, question like for example there is a company liverpool uh, which is now expecting a receipt of us dollar uh, 1.2 million in 6 month uh, time and must make a payment of dollar 3 lakh in 6 month time period leading to a net received of 9 lakh matlab uh, they have to receive um, 1.2 million 
in that currency and US dollars uh, expected to receive US dollar in and obviously they have to make payment in 3 lakh so the net amount would be 9 lakh so the receipt would be of 9 lakh the company treasurer has determined the following money market rates um, for US dollar and pound sterling is for US dollar the buying borrowing rate is uh, 6.5% and deposit rate is 5% and for pound sterling, your borrowing rate is 7.5% and your deposit rate is 6%. So we have to decide that whether we should go for a forward contract hedge or we will go for a money market hedge. Uh, um, what should we take? So um, the answer would be in the next slide. Now if, if we go for a money market hedge, so first of all, um, create a liability to match the receive borrow an amount now like we have to receive dollar nine lakh um, uh, in the dollar nine lakh in future so we have to divide it by 1.325 that will give us 80 um, 8 lakh 71,671 uh, so that will interest um, uh, that with so that with interest nine lakh is owned in six months so then convert 8,71,601 dollar borrowed into sterling immediately to remove exchange rate risk. Uh, and what we'll do is uh, we will divide 8,71,861 by 1.7040 uh, and deposit this uh, 5,11,544 uh, pound sterling. In three months, the dollar lane loan is paid off by dollar received from the customer and deliver pool realizes uh, 5,26,690 deposit. Uh, and uh, if we uh, see that it uh, when it will be divided by 1.03, then the deposit will equal to 5,26,890. Overall, the level the level pools know that it will effectively exchange dollar nine lakh received for uh, 526,890 in six months period, six months time period. Now this would be a diagrammatic presentation of previous question and uh, if we look into this question we'll see uh, that uh, um, receipts which you will be going to receive in dollar is 9 lakh and you will be receiving this amount in six months period. The US dollar uh, rate is 3.25% uh, and as we have discussed that we'll be adding one and what we'll do is we will divide 9 lakh by 1.0325 so the present value of this receipt is 8 lakh 71,671 so we'll be going to if we go if we will uh, going to take this amount as a loan so in that case we will convert this amount in um, uh, pound sterling at a spot rate so we will give uh, we will get this 5 lakh 11,541 pound and um, the rate uh, um, which we will be getting on a deposit is 3 percent so when we multiply this 5 lakh 11,541 so we will be uh, we we will receive 5 lakh 26,890 pounds so um uh, 5 lakh 26,890 pounds would the amount we'll receive uh, in case we'll be heavy if we are hedging this but um, as, con as, uh, as compared to a money market hedge um, if we'll be using forward contract hedge so uh, we will divide uh, 9 lakh by 1.680709 which in which case we will be receiving 5 lakh 35,427 pounds so when we um, compare those both methods so in this kind in this circumstances it will be favorable for a company for go for foreign um, go for forward contract as uh, compared to money market hedge because there are a lot of complication and a mechanism involved in market money market hedge and you have to put a certain effort first of all you have to do the conversion have to uh, arrange for uh, setting for a loan and then you have to go for a conversion and uh, after that you will be depositing in the money market again so in that case there is a lot of in effort involved but uh, you'll be getting more amount when you are again uh, you are going for forward contract hedge which uh, which is a simple con simpler contract so in this circumstances it would be favorable for a company for uh, to um, go for forward contract hedge um, rather than for money market hedge